as you can see I've got uh, the cowboy serenade in my front seat I'm uh, heading to Livingston today to deliver to uh, the foundry to get a bid on how much it would cost to cast it and to make a mold of it well to make a mold of it and then cast it anyway so I'll pick this up in a few minutes all right I'm finally done and running around little mini chores around town like mail and everything else I'm heading north and uh, heading for the freeway and on to uh, Livingston along that uh, set of foothills there used to be the old Bozeman trail where the stagecoach would uh, run north and south between here and uh, Virginia City and Bozeman this up when I get a little further along the road. All right, we just reached the Madison River. There's a sign just up ahead here that says this area has been traveled for over 30,000 years. 30,000 years. That's really unbelievable. Probably hasn't changed a whole lot. and college kids coming down here and floating this river. It's a beautiful float job and trip. And uh, I, last time I did it was with my kids, my son Jason and Michael, and uh, my daughter Heidi, many years ago. Five minutes to get to the freeway finally here so now it's just a straight on shot to Livingston I gotta go through that canyon way up ahead there and, and uh, Livingston is just on the other side of that canyon all right I'm gonna continue my trip that's the Bridger Mountains there's a big ski resort up there and I'm just coming into Bozeman Montana it's beautiful up here. All right now it's really green because we had a lot of moisture, but that's going to change in about another month or so. I can't believe we're almost into August. Unbelievable. Livingston's only 15 miles away, and uh, I'll be there in a few minutes. All right, I'm going to get off the camera. By the way, this is the last of the mountains before the uh, great prairies of the uh, Central Plains. I love how green it is right now. Just beautiful. I'd love to have a house up here, but I don't think I'd want to live up here. Too far from everything. There are areas on this section of uh, freeway where the speed limit's 80 miles an hour. 
when I first moved here back in the 80s into Montana there was no speed limit you could go as fast as you wanted as long as you were safe and uh, you, I saw cars going by me at a at least 120 miles an hour at one time but that all changed uh, over time now the maximum is usually about 75 but 80 is an eye opener here on this road all right just got a bit on both clays and i'm heading back home and i'll pick this up when i get back to the valley it's uh about 94 degrees outside which is warm but uh Unlike a lot of the uh, southern states where it gets muggy and hot, there's no humidity here. It's dry heat, so it's bearable if you don't have to stand out in it all day. Well, coming into the uh, Madison Valley where I live, I swear it still looks like nobody lives here. But uh, that's because we have such a small population. And it's a bit smoky, must be fires someplace. If we're getting southerly wind, it could be the pollution from Los Angeles or some of the uh, California cities. Anyway, it's just a beautiful place to live. Well, I got home and uh, this clay was leaning against the back door. <laughs> it had fallen over while I was driving. There were some real big bumps uh, in that parking lot that goes to the uh, boundary. And uh, it, these screws were only one and a half inch screws. And I didn't take into account that this is sitting on carpet on top of a piece of plywood. Well, this, the screws only went into the carpet. It didn't get into the plywood. so. It tipped over and smashed the the uh, front of the... I'm going to have to redo that front. As you can see, the uh, brim was pushed way back against the uh, against itself. And I can't fix that because the clay was soft. Because even though I had the air conditioning going on in the back of the uh, van, it uh, was just too darn hot. And uh, the clay was really... It's really soft right now. But uh, it's, it's fixable. These things sometimes happen. You can't always get by without having one accident. It didn't damage, well, it did, no, it didn't damage the ear either. So I'm going to, I'm glad about that. Um, didn't do any damage to the face at all or to his shirt. So I'm, I got off light. All right, everybody. Um. I'll see you next time. <laughs> oh, man. Well, if you're going to have an accident, you might as well have a minor one. Use longer screws next time, Dave. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.